Hey guys, it's Miss Kertom. We've already had our um, meeting today. Mondays have become my favorite days because it's my days that I get to meet, meet with you all. Um, I miss you all very much and I hope you all are doing well. So let me go ahead and get started on explaining what our assignment is going to be today. Okay, so in the online class that we did today, the first thing that I did is right now I'm on mod five, but everybody's Google Classroom looks the same. If you go to classwork, I have um, a link to Pearson Realize for you. And that link is going to take you to the story that we are going to cover this week. Now, we have not really connected to Pearson that much uh, this year. So I'm not necessarily expecting you to connect to it if you're not familiar with that particular way. And I'm okay with that, but some of you are connected. Um, so my student here, she's not connected yet. Another student is not connected. This student is connected and that's okay. It's just another way for you to access the story that we're covering. So if I, I had an e, uh, a student email me and tell me that she wasn't able to connect, that's okay. Because what I'm also going to do for you is that if you go to our stream for today, um, I have attached, uh, downloaded and attached all the readings that we're going to be covering. So if you are not able to join Pearson Realize online, that is okay. Now, when I when school closed in March, I sent you home with a packet from your perspectives book, and that packet I also uh, uploaded and attached to Google Classroom. We are officially done with that packet. We have moved on further into the further into the unit. Okay, for this quarter, as I've said before, we are focusing on unit five and so i have uploaded this here for you and you are able to get any story that we're covering okay um that's one if you are not if you don't want to go in and scroll through the whole thing um i've also found a simpler level text for you to follow there. And then that's what's the Nikola Tesla, the greatest inventor of all. That's the biography that we covered today in our virtual class. The other one that you are going to work on your own is going to be the invention of everything else. And as I stated before, it is a lengthy article. So the invention of everything else is a novel written by Samantha Hunt. And if you will notice here, it says from in front of it. So this is an excerpt of part of the novel or what they did is they took a lot of the novel out and condensed it to summarize what all of it was about for you. As I said before, it is a lengthy read, but um, that's why I'm giving you this week to just read it and understand it. Next week, we are going to be uh, working on a writing assignment for this, not a compare and contrast assignment, a different type of writing assignment. But in order for you to do the assignment correctly, you need to have an understanding of the story. If for some reason, um, this is very overwhelming for you, then what I have done is I found a leveled um, version for you and it's significantly shorter however you may not find all the answers to the quiz to this and so if you're not able to please go back and reference the actual story okay so let me just take a step back and kind of explain what we talked about today so today we covered talking about Nikola Tesla and we talked about how Tesla is a, an electric car. It's a car company. But what I was saying is that Tesla is an actual person. It was his last name. His name was Nikola Tesla and he was an inventor. And so the um, Elon Musk, the person in charge of the Tesla company named it Tesla after him. Okay. Um, let me scroll back up. So the story that we covered today is on page 489, okay, on your packet. 
And we talked about Nikola Tesla was born in 1856 to a Serbian family in the country that is now called Croatia. When Tesla was young, he was able to do such complex math problems in his head that his teachers thought he was cheating. He finished high school in three instead of four years. Now, um, before we started talking about this article, I showed you two videos. I showed you um, a video from biography.com about Nikola Tesla, and then another one um, where it's called An Introduction to Nikola Tesla. And I'm not going to show it to you on this particular video that I'm explaining, but I will upload it for you to watch on your own. They're both really short, not more than two and a half minutes each. And I do think it helps uh, explain a lot of Nikola Tesla and his character for you to assist you in the actual, um, the actual quiz, okay? Um, he started college, but didn't finish, but he learned enough to go to work. He moved several times over the next few years and each time getting a job as an electrician. At each place where he worked, he designed and made improvements to the equipment that he was using. Okay, so all of that's fine. Where the story gets interesting is when he left Serbia and came to the United States, which was in 1884, okay? So we also talked about the name Thomas Edison. And although many of my students didn't know what he did, the name sounds familiar to them and the fact that he was an inventor. So right here is a picture of Thomas Edison. Okay, he was an American inventor and businessman. He invented the light bulb, the phonograph, motion picture camera, and improving the telegraph and telephone. Um, the, a telegraph is basically, I would say, a very, um, instead of snail mail, writing a letter and sending it in the mail, what you would do is you would go to a location and give them a very short message, and it would be sent with a code and delivered. So it was kind of their way of text messaging, except there was no cell phone devices, okay? And it would be super short. So it would say something like, Dear Sally, stop. Um, your aunt will be there in two days, stop. Please meet her at such and such place, stop. And it actually had a limit of how long it could be, okay? But Thomas Edison believed that he was not just an inventor, he believed in business. He was a very shrewd businessman and became rich and very wealthy, okay? So going back to our story that we were reading. In 1884, Tesla moved to New York City and came with a letter of recommendation to Thomas Edison and began working for Thomas Edison as an engineer, okay? He quickly became very important to the company, solving some of its most difficult problems. Tesla was able to use his mind to imagine how different methods worked. Edison always made a lot of models and tried them out, which took longer. Now, as we were talking about in our class, um, virtual class earlier, in order to make these models, you have to have money, okay? So you can have all the grand ideas in the world that you want, but if you can't actually make it to see it come to fruition or to see it actually happen, well, then it's just an idea. And so there's you have to have money to back up you building these different ideas and these different inventions, okay? In 1885, Tesla and Edison had a falling out. And what that meant was that they had a huge fight, argument, disagreement, okay? Tesla told Edison that he could improve some of Edison's motors and generators. Edison told him that he would pay him $50,000 if he did. Now, this was in 1885, and we were talking about how now $50,000 is a lot of money. However, in 1885, $50,000 was $1.3 million. Okay, so Edison said, if you can make these improvements in this amount of time, your reward will be about a million dollars, okay? 
So Tesla busted his behind. He worked hard and spent months on the task. And when Tesla succeeded, he asked Edison for the reward, but Edison told him that he had been joking. He said, Tesla, you don't understand our American humor. So then he offered Tesla a $10 raise on his $18 weekly pay and Tesla quit. So that became a very, very sore spot for Tesla. He became very bitter and angry about it. You know, I mean, you could probably sympathize, right? He probably should have gotten something in writing, but when somebody says that they'll give you a certain amount of money for doing it, and then you do it, and then they say, oh no, I was just joking, I wasn't serious, that's not okay. And especially for a million dollars. So Tesla never really got over that. After that, they became um, enemies and they really became very competitive with each other. Um, and they both like to smear each other. So Tesla would talk about how Edison was uh, not smart enough or didn't see a bigger picture. Whereas Edison would say that Tesla was too, um, maybe too extreme or had ideas that weren't um, attainable, right? Um, so Tesla eventually started his own company, but he did have to have money backing him. OK, uh, the rest, as I said, you all can read on your own, but I am going to go down to the last paragraph. OK, and it said, sadly. Right here is where I'm going to be. Tesla died without a cent. People forgot about him and remembered Edison, whose companies still exist and have his name, like Consolidated Edison, the electric company that powers New York City. In the 1990s, people started to write about Tesla, and now he's becoming better known again. The owner of a new car company named Tesla Motors because they make electric cars. Their first car used Tesla's design from 1882 for an electric car. Now, earlier in our virtual classroom, we also talked about the very first car company in the United States was Ford Motor Company. And if you look here, it says Ford Motor Company was founded in 1903. Okay. If you go back to this article here, Tesla's first car design was from 1882. So Tesla had these grand ideas. He didn't even have a car, but he had an idea for an electric car, okay? As you can see in the videos that I will attach, he had an idea about Wi-Fi. Um, he did um, have the main patents to um, invent the radio, but they were stolen from him. So he was a really, really interesting character. Um, he did die without a cent, meaning he died poor. And he died poor because the older he got, the more eccentric he got. And while Edison was an inventor, Edison did have a successful business, whereas Tesla did not have a business mind at all. He did not understand or really grasp how to run a business. And that really wasn't how his mind worked. He was more about inventing and creating and not necessarily making money with that. So your assignment today, because I've talked about this, we talked about this in our virtual classroom. The first assignment that I'm going to give you is a short quiz called Nikola Tesla, the greatest inventor of all. Okay, and it's a very short quiz. It's about 11 to 12 questions and it comes directly from the text. Okay, please make sure that you have this open. This is an open note, open summary, open book quiz. Okay, you are able to use this reading that you have in front of you. So please take advantage of that. Okay, your second assignment. We are going to scroll down. So your second assignment is we are going to, as I said before, read from the invention of everything else. Now this assignment will be due on Thursday. Today is Monday and it will be posted pretty soon. So you will have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and all of Thursday, a total of four days 
to read this. I need you to read it. I need you to annotate it. Now, I work better annotating on paper. I work better printing and actually writing on the text but I'm not able to do that. My printer is not working. So I understand that many of you are not able to print this. If you are and it works for you, fabulous, do it that way. If you are not and you need to annotate it, simply create a double entry journal, okay? On the left side, you're going to write um, paragraph one or tell me what was happening or you're gonna talk about paragraph seven, and then on the right side, you're going to maybe write a question. Maybe you'll um, write something that reminds you of something else. So just as you would annotate on the actual article, you'll do on a double entry journal. Okay. I also have a student who has some kind of document um, app where she can upload the story and then write on it that way that's fine as well. I just need you to annotate it so that you will understand it and that you can use the information on your quiz. I don't care how you annotate it. That is up to you, okay? Next week, we are going to have an in-depth writing assignment over this article, over this essay, this summary, this reading, okay? So what I'm going to ask you to do this week, your second grade is going to be a quiz over the story. Now this one is a little bit longer. It's almost 20 questions, but it is directly from the text. So when you take that quiz, make sure you have the text in front of you, make sure you have your annotations and your notes, so that way it can all be there to assist you in taking your quiz. You are only allowed to take each quiz one time, so make sure that you are prepared and you are ready, okay? Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I will have virtual office hours later. I will have um, later on this week. You can email me via Google Classroom. You can send me an email or you can send me um, a text message with my Google Voice number. I actually had a student text message me this morning with a question, but I have 110 of you, so I please, when you send me a text text message, say, hey, Ms. Kurtom, this is Sally. Hey, Mr. Kurtom, this is John. I just need you to tell me who you are, please, okay? If you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, this is pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week, and I cannot wait to see you next Monday. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.